Hi, I'm Kath from Johnson Banks and I'm going to talk you through the design and development of this hand-lettered logo that we recently created for a new ice cream company called Mr Cooper. Mr Cooper makes ice cream for grown-ups, specialising in unusual, gourmet and often alcoholic flavours and appearing at events such as music festivals and street food markets. So this is definitely not one for the kids and our identity needed to reflect that. At the briefing stage, our client Ross described himself as the ice cream cocktail man and we agreed that the tone of his brand should be hedonistic, unconventional, distinctive and a bit naughty. During first concepts, we explored the use of lips as a symbol with their obvious connotations of pleasure, sensuality and of course taste and more specifically, the image of a lipstick mark left behind after a kiss. We had the idea of creating this mark entirely from lettering, with Mr as the upper lip, Cooper for the lower lip, and ice cream appearing in the negative space between the two other words. So to see if this idea could work, we did some quick sketches and tracings, and overlaid the various elements to see how well they could fit together. Our first crude sketch showed that the idea could work, so we quickly scanned this in and roughly vectorized it so that we had a graphic element to play around with in designs. At the first design meeting, we showed the client various approaches, which included the lips design. The client liked the idea of the lips and asked us to take it away and develop it further. So we went back to that original sketch and we identified the challenges and problems of the various letter forms. We knew that the overall shape of the lips could be improved and certainly the letter forms within it. The white space needed to be balanced and consistent. And of course legibility was really important. We needed to make sure that all three elements of the logo were really easy to read. In the rough, we found that there were certain characters that were especially tricky, the I, C and M in ice cream and the R in Cooper. For consistency, we had to ensure that the letters that appeared more than once within the logo were treated in the same style. So we went back to drawing and we experimented for a while with this chunky serif approach to the lettering. This page shows those explorations. And our intern at the time, Chris, experimented with a more bubbly balloon type style. But eventually we returned to a simpler sans serif style where the letters were quite chunky but flowed into each other. We went back to concentrating on those problem letters and tried to resolve those through the development sketches along with the other issues. So legibility starts to improve, the shape of the lips was better. And in dealing with the balance of negative and positive space, we found that certain characters could flow into each other to fill up any gaps that were appearing. When we got to this sketch, we felt that we were going in the right direction. We scanned it in and spent some time in Illustrator carefully tracing the letter shapes and refining them as we went to create this vector. So this latest version is definitely an improvement on the original. And here you can see the changes made. We took this version to the client and he signed it off and said that he'd like to go ahead to a final version. So at this point, we enlisted the help of a specialist, Rob Clark, who specializes in type design and lettering. We showed him our current version and asked him if he could help us make it more voluptuous and curvaceous and look at refining the way that the letters interact with each other. He sent us his initial sketches, which show the lettering becoming more curvaceous, more organic. And he sent us these, this selection of rough vectors. Each one of these has slightly different detailing within the letter forms, so that we could choose from here the direction to go. We liked these two, thought they were working really well, so we asked him to develop more in that direction. With some more specific feedback as well, on the shape of the lips, we wanted to make the corners a bit more pointy to accentuate the mouth shape. We wanted to look more at the negative space above and below the line here to make sure that the logo is balanced. 
and letter space was important. We had the idea of creating a small lip-sized rubber stamp, so it's really important that this logo could work at a small scale without filling in at all, so increasing the letter space was important there. And for the same reason, the counters should be also boosted a little bit in scale. Here you can see Rob's made those changes to the shape and to the letter space. And here the counters have been enlarged. So we took this to the client and we had one final round of corrections, very minor changes to two characters here. So those changes were made and then we had a final logo. Here you can see the development from the original crude rough to the interim version and the refined final logo. So Mr. Cooper is really happy with his new logo and we created our rubber stamp so that we could show him how this could be a really simple, immediate and effective way of branding items. We also explored the idea of embroidering the logo as a lipstick mark on the collar of uniforms and how it could work on t-shirts and other merchandise. We thought that the logo could work really well with specialist print finishes, so we explored the idea of blind embossing here. And finally, we created an initial set of stationery to launch the new business. That was Mr. Cooper. Thank you for watching.